Brittany Grinner decode. Nice photo here, eh? We're supposed to believe that this right here is a genetic female. I do truly believe at this point there's many people in the world who are truly lost if they believe that. So throwing up the sixes here, the average person will say, no, she just likes throwing up the sixes because she's good at three point shots. Really? Six foot nine? This six foot nine female supposedly? Come on guys, give me a break. Brittany Grinner decode. Brittany Yvette Grinner is an American professional basketball player for the Phoenix Mercury of the Women's National Basketball Association, who is currently imprisoned in Russia. Yeah, sure. She played college basketball for the Baylor Lady Bears in Waco, Texas. So the full name of this fraud is Brittany Yvette Grinner. Gets you 115 in Gematria, as does Lucifer, as does Masonic. Brittany Grinner, a seven-time WNBA All-Star and two-time WNBA Defensive Player of the Year, was found guilty on drug charges in Russia and sentenced to nine years in prison. Number nine again, the number of completion, because it's the last single-digit number. Seven plus two gets you your nine. Everything's coded, and all these top stars are connected to Pope Francis, who I believe is the false prophet, and I believe that revelation is playing out right now, and the majority of the world are completely oblivious to it. So seven-time WNBA All-Star and two-time WNBA Defensive Player of the Year, like 72. Well, Pope Francis became the Pope, the first openly Jesuit Pope on the 72nd day of 2013. And that is the year Grinner was conveniently drafted to the WNBA. I wonder how many women actually play in that league. 2013 days is 66 months and 6 days. 666. So in an interview on February 11th, 2013, Grinner publicly came out as a lesbian. 2-11-2013 is the same date that the Basilica was struck twice by lightning. Grinner is 6 foot nine inches tall, six foot nine. The Jesuit order equals 69. Illuminati equals 69. Grinner was born on 1018. Luke 1018, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. So Grinner was born on 1018. Luke 1018 is about Satan falling like lightning from heaven. And Grinner publicly came out as a lesbian on 2-11-2013, which is the same date that the Basilica was struck twice by lightning. Go back and watch my recent videos and see how all of this syncs up, how everything synced up with these top stars. Grinner wears the number 42 jersey for Phoenix Mercury. And I always tell you the beast reigns for 42 months. I've been talking about 42 for a long time now. A long time. I may just do a video on that number. Phoenix Mercury and Connecticut Sun players observed 42 seconds of silence before their game on Thursday in a solidarity with WNBA star Brittany Grinner after she was sentenced to nine years in prison in Russia. 42 seconds. And of course, people say that's only because Grinner wears the number 42 jersey completely oblivious to the fact that the beast reigns for 42 months. And this player here, this bloke pretending to be a female, this is as satanic as it gets. As satanic as it gets. Grinner was sentenced exactly a span of 33 weeks after Pope Francis' birthday, that 33 again. Remember, coronavirus was declared a global pandemic on 11 3. 11 times 3 is 33. Masonry equals 33. And of course, three times three equals nine, and she was supposedly sentenced to nine years. I'm sure she'll get released. Okay? And I'm sure people in the US will celebrate. Grinner made her US national team debut in 2016, which is the year she got divorced to a fellow WNBA player. And six times six times six equals 216. Brittany Grinner was found guilty of drug possession and smuggling on August the 4th, Obama's birthday, in Moscow, 
after being arrested in February. 8-4, guys, is the 216th day of the year. The Jesuit order gets you 84. Pope Francis was born 12-17-1936. You add up those four numbers, you get 84. The greatest basketball player of all time was drafted in 84. Michael Jordan, the same year the beast LeBron James was born. People need to learn this knowledge, I'm telling you. A lot of people are completely unaware of how this world is run and how it operates by a code. She was initially arrested, guys, on a day leaving 317 days left in the year. And 317 looks like lie in reverse, as you can see. Because this is one huge lie. We get lied to all the time. 317 is the 66 prime number and the Church of Satan was founded in 66. Remember in 66, England won the FIFA World Cup final against Germany, winning 4-2, just like this bloke's jersey number. On June the 4th, 2015, interesting it was 6-4 because coronavirus was declared a global pandemic on 3-11, the 64th prime. On 6-4, 2015, Grinner and Johnson, this is who she was married to, who plays in the WNBA, revealed that Johnson, yes, Johnson, guys, like a penis, was pregnant with twins, conceived with Johnson's eggs through in vitro fertilization. The following day, and after less than a month of marriage, Grinner filed for an annulment of the marriage, citing fraud and duress. This is just one huge fraud. Look at this. Wow. Wow. The annulment was denied. Johnson gave birth to twin girls on October the 12th, 2015. 16 weeks premature. Grinner was ordered to pay child support to Johnson. The couple's divorce was finalised in June 2016. The sixth month of 2016. And remember, six times six times six is 216. So we're told that Johnson gave birth to twins, just like Ronaldo's wife had twins, and we're told Ronaldo's son died. The Twin Towers came down on 9-11. George Floyd was killed in the Twin City of Minnesota. Grinner is, of course, an active spokesperson for Black Lives Matter. Of course, just pushing agendas. Check this out. Again, just for mockery, just mockery that people just can't accept. Grinner is sponsored by Nike, and Nike is the goddess of victory. And her endorsement deal with Nike was the first time the company had signed such a deal with an openly gay athlete. Grinner continues to push back on traditional gender roles as she regularly models clothes branded as menswear for Nike. I wonder why. Look at the stars here for the fallen angels. Okay? Look at this. We're told this is a woman. This six foot nine bloke is a woman, we're told. What is wrong with people? Number 15 for the USA. The Illuminati founded the 1st of May, 1-5. What is this? What is wrong with people, guys? Six, six, six. You want to believe that all of these are women, don't you? What is wrong with you? What, because she's wearing nail polish and lip gloss? Or he? Literally zero chest. Guys. Come on. Come on now. What has gone on with this world? To the point where people are so oblivious to this. I'm putting out content every day. Incredible content. All connected to the book of Revelation. I'm showing you the symbols. The numbers. The undeniable connections. The rituals. The things that they push. Day in, day out. So... The youth of our generation, guys, this is what they're growing up watching and worshipping. There's going to be girls going to WNBA games worshipping this person. 
saying, I hope one day I can be just like Brittany Grinner. Has the word grin in the name, grin, smiling, mocking you? Well, people need to wake up or they're going to be in for the shock of their life. I'm telling you, watch out for 2023 because if the world doesn't wake up, all hell's going to break loose. Much love. Take care. Please share my work. Of course, YouTube restrict me, but please share it because if I can wake up one person a day, then I'm playing my role in trying to make this world a better place. So much love, take care, and have a wonderful day. <laughs> yeah, this is not a bloke, is it? <laughs>